Good evening campers, it's me Kieran. Today we're going to talk about Wuthering Heights and I'm going to start this with the only two noteworthy things of praise that I can give towards it. The first one is a scene that no one ever talks about. It is evidently the most hilarious thing that has ever been written within literature and that is in chapter 7 when Heathcliff grabs hot applesauce and burns a guy. That's amazing. That whole paragraph is the only thing that needed to cement Emily Bronte into the literary canon. She could have dropped the rest off. The other thing is that it inspired Kate Bush to write Wuthering Heights. And we all know the dance move. We know this dance move right at the end of the music video. And it goes on for like way too long. Like longer than it should do. But we all love it. Well done, Kate Bush. You did what the alchemists could never do. You turned crap into gold. I have a bit of a fetid history with Wuthering Heights. It was the first book that was assigned to me in university. Didn't know anything about it, but I went in with an open mind. This book has caused me to actually fall asleep while reading seven times. I have never fallen asleep reading a book at lunchtime in my life. Additionally, this book made me sleep twice during the same chapter i woke up in my university digs being like oh i don't really know what's happened here oh i gotta read this chapter by the end of the day and then fell asleep again that's how utterly boring wuthering heights is three years pass i'm 21 let's give it a reread i'm not studying it let's see if i enjoy it and now that i know the story let's go into it by gosh slogged myself but it wasn't enough they say third's time the charm and it, it was a lie. Despite the manly bravado that you see before you, I should have been awarded World's Strongest Man for dragging myself through this. I can fully understand why Emily Bronte didn't decide to write another book. Just check, the reason why she didn't write another novel is because she died. Nevertheless, ignoring that, when her sister Charlotte revised Wuthering Heights in 1850, the revisions were not enough to make a good story. People who laud this as a love story, the people who say this is one of the most romantic books of all time. Did you read the book? Let's not talk about the myriad examples I could give of physical and let's not forget its counterpart, mental abuse that happened throughout Wuthering Heights. What relationship, what budding romance, no one would claim a relationship was successful if the person dug up a person's dead body, then forced their children to marry each other. This is not a relationship. This is not a romance. This is a dire situation. The amount of reputation of I am Heathcliff are go home. I mean, technically he does go home. Touche, Emily Bronte. Touche. Furthermore, how does an author come up with the character name Zilla, yet calls the mother and daughter in this book both Catherine? I, I literally dragged myself. The Earnshaws might as well be called the Earnbores because they earned my boredom. I despise Wuthering Heights. Should we even be surprised that people don't like this book? Absolutely not. When it was published in 1847, it was met with mixed and controversial reviews. Emily Bronte is pushing a lot of societal Normally, Bronte is writing a transgressive work that is challenging the status quo of Victorian era, but nevertheless, as a reading experience as a whole, and as this story kind of, like, models itself out, um, I, I, I... I don't, there, there's, there's nothing redeeming. All the characters, I am apathetic towards them. I am as apathetic as they are to dogs and puppies. Wuthering Heights is one of the clankiest books that I have read. The pacing of this novel is like walking through the Yorkshire Moors on a rainy day. The use of pathetic fallacy throughout Wuthering Heights is nauseating, but you know what makes me sick? That there is a subset of people who impose that this is some great love story, and I generally don't think they read the book. I don't understand w how how we are getting romance out of Wuthering Heights. I cannot, for the life of me, make a claim that this is in some way a romance. Unless there's any book that have a relationship. There's any book where someone goes, I love you, count as a romance now. You're better than that. This is not a romance. This is not something we should be imposing as a love story. This isn't a book we should be imposing as one of the greatest works of literature. 
dire. I hated it when I was 18. I hated it when I was 21. I am now 28 and still today, a decade on, my hatred of Wuthering Heights, it hasn't diminished and somehow it got worse. I despair. Buys Wuthering Heights. I will never recommend it. If I see people reading it in public on the train, if they're posting about it, you know what? I'll shed a tear. I will shed a tear for you because you know not better. I have tried my absolute damnedest to give Emily Bronte the best shot. I have read this three times. It has been ten years, yet still I hate it. I hate it, it's one of the worst books I've ever read, and I stand by it. Zero to ten, I don't care. Not even the applesauce can save it.